What's up guys, finally we are back after a long delay on the header series on this 99 Grand Prix. And today I am on my way to the dyno to lay the baseline numbers to see what horsepower and torque this thing is putting out now with the original factory exhaust on it. So, here we are outside Niced Up Motorsports in Greensboro, which is where we're going to have the car dynoed and see what kind of power it makes. Um, there's a few interesting things to watch for today. Um, the car is pretty much stock other than having one step colder plugs and a 180 degree thermostat. Uh, most, it does have that short ram intake, but I don't expect that to do much power wise. So for the most part, it's like a stock car, but it does have 230,000 miles on it. So that's quite a bit of mileage. This is the original engine as far as I know, and the heads have never been off of it. I've done a bunch of exterior work, gaskets and that kind of thing, but they're, as far as I am aware, the internals of the engine are 100% original to that 230,000 miles. So it'll be interesting to see how much the car has lost over stock in this amount of time but either way, then we'll have a good accurate baseline to work off of going forward to see what we gain or don't gain. Okay, so we are back now after dynoing the car. Considering that it was 90 some degrees out and pretty humid and the mileage that the car has being really high, I'm pretty happy with the results that we got. Um, I will put the dyno graph up on the screen here, although it's also behind me. But out of the three actual runs we did, I'm going to average them and that's gonna be our baseline and then I will do the same thing afterwards because every dyno has a certain margin for error so one single run is not really going to be completely accurate so the average that we got of the three runs that i made we had 210.77 horsepower and 233.27 foot pounds of torque that's, like I said, I'm pretty happy with that number for a car that has 230,000 miles and that's at the wheels, not at the crank. So that's uh, pretty healthy. So with that, we now have all of the baselines that I'm going to take prior to actually doing the work. And that means that I finally get to get back to work on doing something to the car, which will be nice. So in the next video of this series, what we should be doing is actually installing the SD headers and then we'll talk about what I have to go through to install those and what problems I have with that. Uh, but this is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure that you hit the like button down below. It helps my channel grow. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see the next one. And if you have not seen the rest of this series, I will have in the description and probably in a card link to the rest of the series so you can go back and catch up on what we're doing. Other than that though, I'm out of here. I will see you next time. Thank you so much and peace.